Hi Fatiguers, so I have a lot of supplements to review today, so I'm just gonna get started. Some of it the doctors gave me, and some of it I just started collecting on my own and retaking. So let's start with whatever is closest to me. Okay, they recommended I get um, minerals, and they recommended liquid minerals it comes with all minerals but i'm already taking a mineral supplement and i love this supplement this makes me feel absolutely amazing i take it at night i sleep like a freaking baby now I sleep like a freaking baby amazing but on top of that i deplete minerals all day long so <clears throat> instead of getting the all in one mineral complex that they they wanted me to get um they said i could get this instead it's a lot more expensive but i prefer it it's a liquid minerals test from body bio now it's pricey but i prefer to take minerals that i'm deficient in not minerals you know i don't because i already took um a multi-mineral i didn't want to keep taking too much of one mineral like zinc i'm always high in zinc and it tastes bad for me I don't know which yeah zinc um, so I didn't want to just keep taking zinc 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 you know um, so anyway so what you do is you taste test them and then you you only take the ones that you're low in so I'm always low in these even though it's in my multi it's like they have 233 percent of this and I'm still I still need it all the time for some reason so um, it takes some getting used to. If you guys want a review of the minerals test, I'll do that. But um, for now, just know that I think it's great. It's a great, useful tool. Instead of getting blood tests done to see what you're low in, it just kind of, you know, it's an everyday thing that I do. They say to do it once a week, but I deplete minerals like it's my job. So I do it all the time. Okay. So the brain ones. <clears throat> I know you guys love the brain ones. So this is choline. I'm putting this back in rotation because I'm off the Flintstones. So choline is necessary. And I can eat three eggs a day. I won't get enough choline. This is good stuff. Choline, if it likes you, take it because it's very, it's very good for thinking. Then we have this bad boy and this bad boy. Now I've been taking these together so I can't really review them separately. Um, they are they are amazing for brain. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I can remember a lot for me. That's, you know, that's a good thing. Um, the problem is it cause mood swings. Like, I get really irritable and I started getting depressed. <laughs> so I have to skip these. I don't, I think it's this that's making me irritable. But if you guys are, you know, really struggling with your memory out there, I really recommend these and the choline. Acetyl L-carnitine. And there's, um, I think there's regular carnitine, but this is acetyl L-carnitine, which is better for your memory. And this is a methylator. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they're really, really good for that. But again, they cause, you know irritability and they say it is a mild stimulant so if you have like ADHD or ADD this is supposed to be like Ritalin I read that online today when I was trying to look up why I was turning into a biat and that's what that's about okay so the doctors put me on this Prometol I tried it and this actually gave me energy and I can't say that about almost anything else I've tried I'm Energy is the last thing that I get from any of these supplements. I don't even think any of these give me energy except for the minerals because they help me sleep better. But it's not its not like a true memory. It doesn't last through the day. Uh, this actually gave me energy. Promatol, they're really small. The problem is it's wheat germ and I'm gluten intolerant and my stomach kind of spits these bad boys back out. But they did give me energy. I might... I might try them again. I mean, I only did like two days worth because I realized it was probably these. And um, yeah, maybe maybe I'm not gluten intolerant. Maybe I'm wheat intolerant. I don't know. But um, these are pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, for energy, you know, I don't have much. 
going for me. Um, so this is a detoxing agent. I don't know that this is doing anything. It makes me really tired, and I take it at night because it makes me so tired. Again, I'm deficient in the fatty acid, so this is another fatty acid, but also with detoxing properties. So this is the one that they recommended. So I'm taking this. Not really anything exciting to say about that, but taking it. Okay, another one that they recommended. PC, phosphatidylcholine. This knocks me the F out. I mean, out. And they were like, oh, we'll take like two tablespoons of this like in the morning. No, absolutely not. This makes me so tired. I have to take, I started with, well, I started with what they recommended. That was no way I could do that. So then I lowered it to one tablespoon a night before bed. And then I'm up to two tablespoons now and have to restock on this. Guys, I can't, I can't say that this is doing anything. It's derived from soy, and I think I probably have more issues with soy than even I realize. So although it's, you know, it's not genetically modified soy, it's very good stuff. It's, if you're going to get PC, you know, you might want to try it from this company because they've done all the research. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much longer I could take this. But I do feel better overall, so I can't rule this out because this is the one thing that I have been taking consistently. So um, there is this. And it has all these phospholipids. Now the problem with chronic fatigue patients is that our cells are extremely damaged due to a virus or you know whatever you want to call it. And um, so the membrane that holds the, that keeps the integrity of the cell together and you know allows minerals to enter things vitamins to enter the cell is damaged so that phospholipid membrane is damaged and it consists it consists of fatty acids so you need to really bulk up your fatty acids and this is actually a phospholipid that your membrane uses to repair it needs this to keep the integrity of the cell so at the cellular level, this is supposed to be helping. So I'm not surprised that I don't see, I don't notice any difference from it because um, I don't know that I would notice cellular repair. I mean, first you have to do your micronutrients and then your macronutrients. So I'm not, I'm probably not going to feel the effects of this for quite some time. That was a long extended conversation about that. But um, also, PS, which I'm not taking, but I hear great stuff about it. It's phosphatidylserine, which I think is made from PC. It's called PS. One or the other, something like that. Um, don't hold me to that, obviously. Okay. So, then we have fatty acids. Fatty acids are absolutely amazing. I recommend everyone takes them because we are very deficient in fatty acids very um just check your blood work guys you'll see it we're all very very deficient in fatty acids is the first thing the virus gets to it's like fatty acids i need these so um i bulk up on my fatty acids and for the most part except for that detoxing weird one butyrate i haven't had any issues with fatty acids i mean they have been amazing for me so i highly highly recommend don't even worry about taking too much i've read some stuff where there you know pe people worry about taking too much um the more you take the more memory you'll get trust me on that you'll if you're just cranking up that epa dha you'll get way more memory but um i mean you know, for us. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, the, but the thing is, that you need more than just EPA and DHA. You need all the essential fatty acids. So, bam, bam, start taking this bad boy. This is, this stuff is potent. This is amazing. But if you're allergic to fish, obviously, you do not take fish oil. I've read a lot of good things about creel oil, too. Phosphatidylcholine is naturally in creel oil, not fish oil, but creel oil, and also in raw eggs. 
if you're going to do raw eggs, do raw pasteurized eggs. I was thinking about actually replacing this with raw pasteurized eggs and just like chugging that because I have a feeling my body would accept it more. But that's another video for another time. Okay, so skate liver oil, good stuff. I take three of these and I take three of these. I really bulked it up, guys. I'm on it. This says CLA, but it actually contains CLA, GLA, ALA. Again, I I recommend this. You guys probably know that already. Um, good stuff. So I take three of these, three of these, and the stuff that they recommended. Balance oil. Um, I'm sure they're probably gonna be mad at me because the stuff that I'm taking isn't in proper ratio and whatnot. Um, but I'm just like desperate, so I'm just bulking up on all my fatty acids. I I haven't really noticed much of anything with this, but again, I'm taking all of that already, so, it, but this tastes amazing, let me just tell you, this tastes amazing, and it's really expensive, and I read a hack online about how you can mix and match your own to get the 4 to 1 ratio, but it doesn't taste as good, I mean, this tastes really good, I really like it, but, uh, I think this is, yeah, this sunflower or safflower and flax oil. So you're good if you have soy intolerances. I think you should be okay with this. I would double check that, but it'd probably be really good on a salad. I just like the taste so much that I do two tablespoons of that. Okay, now let's get to pancreatic enzymes for fat malabsorption. Okay, for fat malabsorption, I'm taking these and these, and they say to take them with your fatty acids. Um, I just take them all day long, pretty much. Uh, so at first, the ones I was taking previously, I threw out the bottle so I don't remember the name, but I was taking them and they were okay. Uh, they gave me gas. These, well, those ones didn't give me as much gas as these. These give me gas. I don't know if that's TMI, but, um, yeah, <clears throat> anyway, but I have noticed that now when I take this, my, and I eat something, my muscles twitch. Take, I'm taking both of these, um, which, it sounds bad, but it's actually awesome. It means, I think it means that, uh, there, it's like entering the muscle. Before, the only thing that ever did that to me was magnesium phosphate so it seems as though I'm actually getting getting the nutrients from the food when I take these so guys that, that's a pretty big deal especially I think I think it's like the phosphorus and it's actually you know getting inside the cells that's a very big deal I mean that's a very big deal Big deal, guys. Big deal. Gas, but big deal. Now, something I really wanted to love but don't is liver. This is the best kind of liver you can get. It's raw, dehydrated liver, grass-fed cows, all that fun stuff. Um, took me a while. <laughs> took me like four days. But I realized this was making me incredibly tired. Incredibly tired. Now this contains the phosphatidylcholine naturally. It also, does it? Maybe I made that up. It contains COQ10, which um, is really good for your mitochondria. And we all have mitochondrial damage. It's, it happens in MS and uh, I think Parkinson's too, and and sometimes like autism, and but definitely chronic fatigue. So, um, I really want to love this, but guys, it knocks me the f out. I mean, it doesn't just knock me out; it messes me up the next day. Like I tried taking it at night. I tried different different uh, amounts of it. I dropped it down to two instead of four. And this, I don't know what's in this. I don't know if it's good for me. Like maybe it's healing stuff and then it's knocking me out. I don't know what the deal is, but I want to love this. 
but it knocks me out. But if you're looking for a natural version of COQ10, coenzyme 10, which is really good for your mitochondria, this, this is supposed to be it. I'm sorry. Didn't work for me. That makes me really freaking tired. I think that's everything. Let me double check. Uh, instead of the Flintstones, I am taking ba -da -da -da, Men's Energy. They have a high potency version of these, which I really recommend because that's got the, the COQ10. It's got a lot of energy stuff in there naturally in food. That sentence didn't make sense, but it takes, it gets natural forms of supplements for energy from food itself, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I couldn't take those because the B vitamins were making me, like, giving me a headache, making me sick. But these, I seem to be okay with. And then sometimes I skip, this. I'll skip a day. And I'll just do, uh, you know, the regular minerals. I seem to be okay with most vitamins. I know some of you out there are deficient in vitamins. I would highly recommend a multi to everyone out there. Um, mix and match because they're definitely not the same. They are definitely all different. I get different effects from all, almost every multi. Um, you know, so I, I definitely recommend it. And especially depending on what you're deficient in, all multis are different. So this has all this fun stuff in it and you notice the uh the minerals in there are only at a hundred percent if i take only this i'll be deficient in minerals by the middle of the day yep so i have to bulk up my minerals with that fancy mineral complex and if if i had to recommend taking it i recommend taking the mineral complex at night because it helps your sleep and if your <laughs> sleep is going to be your best friend if you're not sleeping right you won't have energy throughout the day regardless it doesn't matter what pills you take or anything like if you're not sleeping right it's not going to happen and the problem is if you're orthostatic intolerant um hold on i had i had a whole thought for this you are orthostatic intolerant, it's actually hard for your body to digest things in your gut. At least that's what I read. That was a theory, and I really believe that. It's like the longer you're upright throughout the day, it's harder for your body to work. So um, I like to beef up on the things that my body needs to repair itself at night because it makes it easier. Do not take these at night. The B vitamins will probably keep you awake. They keep me awake. The B vitamins are very, just not good. Uh, same with DMAE. Don't take, I wouldn't recommend taking any of, the, any of the brain ones at night, except for maybe fish oil, but you gotta be careful with, uh, come on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, GERD? There it is. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> acid reflux you gotta be careful with if you're gonna take that so this is my long extended video on all the crap that I'm taking uh, I think I might have missed something yes I did magnesium carbonate I've been taking that form of magnesium at night and that's pretty cool I, I'm not yeah I like that magnesium carbonate I think they said it helps balance the body out it also is like some sort of detoxing I don't know if you've heard of people drinking um drinking what do you call it <laughs> god <laughs> brain fog day um drinking sodium bicarbonate to clean out the system anyway uh yeah so magnesium carbonate I think it has a little bit of a detoxing property to it so that's the form that they recommend so I'm taking that instead of magnesium phosphate and it's been okay uh, I don't I don't take it unless I'm unless I need it so I do my taste test first and if I'm already high in magnesium which I almost never am um, then I don't take it and I take it at night but magnesium guys 
I know a lot of people say to take it at night. I think those are healthy people. Uh, magnesium for us, you can pretty much take it all the time. It's It helps me think and be clear and it actually gives me a little bit more energy. I'm not, I don't know about the carbonate form of it because it's pretty hardcore. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, comments, concerns, um, you know, let me know what works for you guys. Let me know if you've tried any of this stuff. Let me know if you want me to show you how I do the taste test. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, let me know. Okay.